Being a part of a college football team is a brotherhood, and for a couple members of the North Dakota State roster, I do mean that literally. Valley News Live sports reporter Eric Moon talked to a pair of homegrown brothers finally set to play college football together. Coming this fall to the Fargo Dome, two brothers from Barnesville back together on the football field. Hunter and Caden Zenzen donned the bison green and gold and tried to make an impact in 2024 after their on-field reunion was pushed back a year. It was here at the practice facility at this time last summer, the second week of fall camp, when just after transferring to North Dakota State from Iowa State, Hunter suffered a season-ending list frank injury in his right foot. But he says that injury has given him new perspective a year later. I think I've learned more from not playing uh, than playing and being injured was really difficult. Uh, I learned a lot about myself and learned a lot about uh, the potential that I do have to be a player. And so um, just I'm not taking every day, any day for granted. Hunter says his teammates were reaching out to him each day after the injury for months. And that's true, truly what Bison Pride is um, and it's a brotherhood. A brotherhood that includes his own brother. Seeing him through the off season, you know, getting better, getting healthy, working hard. It it makes me happy to see that and hopefully we'll be able to, we'll be able to, you know, be on the field together. With Hunter now fully healthy, the brothers Zen Zen can turn a dream scenario into a reality. That's one of the things we kind of talked about when we were younger. It was like, oh, could you imagine if and so um, there was an opportunity that came and pulled trigger on it and now we're we're battling off in practice, so it's it's been a lot of fun. It means the world to me, you know. Playing in high school, we were always so close, and you know, he went off and did a separate thing, but we still both had our same goal. And you know, to see him come back here and play with me, it means the most to me. You know, I have someone here that I grew up with, I can talk to, you know, work hard together and um, work together for each other's goals. In Fargo, I'm Eric Moon, Valley News Live Sports. The Barnesville crowds always travel well to the Fargo Dome for those two, and now we'll see if they make their way to Colorado. The Bison start the year in Boulder in just 20 days against the Deion Sanders-led Colorado Buffaloes. And in case you missed our highlights on Valley News Live at 6, which you can find on our website right now, by the way, our local Legion baseball teams met for the third time this postseason, this time an elimination game in the Central Plains Regional. Fargo Post 2 getting some revenge from the state championship, ending West Fargo's season with a 7-4 win. Jordan Leininger got the scoring started with a grand slam, which you just saw right there in the very first inning, and they never looked back. They now have a rematch with the Swisher Legion baseball team from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, in the semifinals. That's the state championship team from Iowa and I believe Ooh. they won by double digits today. So it's going to be a tall test, task. but it, it's we, we've seen all kinds of fun things happen in this. You tournament. got me excited. 20 days till yeah. the NDSU get excited Stop season opener. Fall, fall is here. By. It's Fly. happening. The weather finally is returning to more summer like oh. though soon. All right. Joseph's back in with details in your forecast next. Mm.